In this video presentation, four of us will be taking you through the speech recognition and synthesis. Under speech recognition and synthesis, we will be basically going through the following outline. Number one, introduction. Digital signal processing became very important in the field of speech recognition and synthesis studies. According to Rebener 2007, even before the time of Alexander Graham Bell's revolutionary invention, engineers and scientists have studied the phenomenon of speech communication with an eye on creating more efficient and effective system of human-to-human -human and human-to-machine communication. Moreover, in today's world, the fields of artificial intelligence and natural language processing rely heavily on speech recognition and synthesis technology. They facilitate easy communication between humans and computers by enabling machines to produce and understand human language. Text is the source of spoken language in speech synthesis, also known as text-to-speech, while Spoken language is the source of speech recognition. Virtual assistants and customer care boards are only a couple of many applications for these technologies, which also include accessibility tools for individuals with disabilities. Number two, literature review. Speech recognition, as defined by Vrinda 2013, involves the conversion of spoken language into text through algorithms implemented in computer programs. And conversely, speech synthesis focuses on transforming written text into machine-generated synthetic speech. Hence, Keller 1994 describes this process as the generation of machine-generated synthetic speech from written text. Despite significant progress, such as advances in signal processing, artificial intelligence, and computational linguistic challenges remain, which includes handling diverse accents and dialects, background noise, and contextual understanding of speech. Moving on to the process of speech recognition, speech signal is involved. Number two, signal processing. Number three, phone probability estimator decoder and recognized text. Under the speech signal, the spoken words are captured up as sounds and converted to digital form using a microphone. And next, signal processing occurs, which involves extracting features, transforming a signal with a linear amplitude into a representation that looks spectral. Next, phone probability estimator. In this stage, the likelihood that a given set of characteristics represents a certain language sound or combination of sounds is estimated. The phone probability estimate sequences are fed into the decoder, which uses models of all conceivable language utterances to compare them. After that, it outputs the most likely speech. Typically, the decoder is implemented as a search through a well-known algorithm such as dynamic time warping and hidden Markov model. Process of speech synthesis Speech synthesis involves transforming text into a spoken language. This process can be broken down into several steps, each critical for producing natural and intelligible synthetic speech. The generation of synthetic speech from text is often characterized as a two-stage analysis. The first part of this process involves analysis of the text to determine underlying linguistic structure. A poneme sequence and any additional information that can affect how the text should be delivered will be included in this abstract linguistic description. The second part of the text-to-speech conversion process generates synthetic speech from the linguistic description. The creation of a synthetic speech waveform from the phonemic and prosthetic parameters comes after the development of prosthetic in the synthetic step. Algorithm of speech recognition. Firstly, we have hidden Markov model algorithm. HMM is the foundation of contemporary general purpose speech recognition system. Standard mathematical technique known as hidden Markov model have been extensively acknowledged for their 
effective in modeling processes, ranging from creating test plans to characterizing models for systems that already exist. The goal of an HMM statistical model is to extract the hidden parameter from the observable parameters with the system being modeled being considered to be Markov process with unknown parameters. The fundamental issues with HMM are as follows. Evaluation problem, so given an observation sequence in a model, so determine the likelihood that the observed sequence was created by the model. The dynamic time warping algorithm, an ideal warping path between two time series is determined by the dynamic time warping algorithm. So the algorithm determines the distance between the two series as well as the warping path values between them. The algorithm starts with local distances calculation between the elements of the two sequences using different types of distances. The most frequent used method for distance calculation is the absolute distance between the values of the two elements. Algorithm of speech synthesis. Uh, firstly, we have code excited linear prediction CELP algorithm. Shorter and other device the analysis by synthesis approach known as code excited linear prediction. The most popular speech synthesis method for data reads ranging from 4 kilobyte per second to 16 kilobyte per second in quote excited linear prediction. The history of previous excitation is contained in the adaptive code book. Gaussian random numbers that were separately produced comprise the stochastic code book. So the purpose of this code book is to simplify searches. Gains and a linear predictor factor are added to the outcome of these searches to create a speech. So the purpose of the post filter is to improve perceptual quality. Number two, we have multiband resynthesis overlap add algorithm. So the multiband uh, resynthesis overlap add algorithm is a method of generating high quality speech with minimal computational effort and a simplified diaphragm database design. So to enhance speech quality, an improved phase control strategies is employed. Now the results. Comparison of DTW and HMM algorithm based on accuracy. The first one is DTW algorithm. It utilizes male frequency, capstone coefficient, MFCC as MFCC as compares time series data capturing speech phonetic properties. To talk about accuracy, it achieves around 77% recognition accuracy by aligning sequence with minimum distance. Now the second algorithm is HMM algorithm. It has higher recognition accuracy up to 92% and the next is noisy environment. Both algorithm performs deteriorates and HMM has maintains better patterns recognition and reliability. Now the comparison of CELP and MBROLA algorithms. In summary, CELP has degradation at low bit rates and high computational complexity with full code block searches are key factors that influence its performance and usability in speech coding applications. The next algorithm is MBROLA algorithm. It has high quality speech with low computational power the second one is suitable for agriculture application and the third one is preferred for its balance of quality and computational efficiency now the challenges number one is speech recognition asr current limitation asr system lags behind human speech perception now the operational challenges speech processing challenges includes rejecting irrelevant speech telling apart machine speech from background noise and using confidence scoring for better conver conversion quality these are crucial for smooth interaction in noisy settings now moving on with the challenges for speech synthesis Effective synthesized speech require precise phoneme articulation to address co-articulation challenges where phoneme change sound based on neighboring sound. 
High quality audio is necessary to prevent robotic tones and ensure clarity, accurate pronunciation, particularly for homographs and homophone, relies on advanced linguistic analysis. Moreover, appropriate procedure and well timed pause, guided by sentence structure and pronunciation, are essential to convey meaning and emotion, making the speech sound natural and human like. Now, moving on with the future potential work in speech technologies. First, uh, speech recognition under this, we have current performance with large vocabularies versus variation. Current automatic speech recognition system excel with extensive vocabulary but struggle in noisy setting with accent or poor microphone quality. This underscores the need for future enhancement in noise resilience and accent inclusivity to improve ASR technologies. Secondly, we have dominance of hidden Marburg models. Hidden Marburg models are crucial for successful ASR system due to their adopt handling of time series data in speech recognition. Further advancement involves refining HMM algorithm and incorporating new approach to enhance system robustness across diverse speech variation. Now, speech synthesis. Firstly, current TTS performance with text length and expressiveness. Text to speech system excel with short text but still with longer passage, sounding monotone and prone to error. Further advancement must focus on maintaining natural intonation in extended dialogue to ensure user engagement and satisfaction. Now moving on with increasing voice options and flexibility. Current text to speech system are constrained in voice variety and speech flexibility, limiting their applicability across content. Future work should prioritize expanding voice option and adaptability for more personal and context-aware speech output, enhancing user experience.